let's turn to a much more scientific conversation here. Um, uh, we've seen hearings in Congress, a number of hearings about UFOs. Uh, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, you must have been asked over and over again. What do you think of these? Seems like super credible individuals um, who are uh, bringing forward what they believe as uh, as viable evidence for these unidentified flying objects. They're not even called UFOs anymore, are they? They're called something UAPs, else. UAPs, yeah. UAPs. Uh, unidentified uh, not paranormal no. anomalous phenomena. Okay. Yeah. Which, what, who are they kidding? They mean UFOs. Yeah. And they're just trying to rebrand it to, to get rid of the giggle factor. Um, so yeah, the government calls them UAPs. So, and I noticed that the News Nation is saying, forget the UAP, <laughs> let's go back to what everyone knows what these are. Um, so you wonder what I think of it. I, they're interesting mysteries. Mm. I don't have any problem investigating mysteries, but if you want to think that the thing you don't know what you're looking at are visiting aliens from outer space, that's a leap. Mm -hmm. You can't go from, I don't know what I'm looking at to, I definitely know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at aliens. That, that's, you can't do that because you're replacing certainty. You're replacing ignorance with certainty in the absence of anything to bridge that gap. So these are fun. I, I, I'd be curious. I have other questions like, why is it that the James Webb Space Telescope can produce high resolution color images of gas clouds 7,000 light years away, yet the best evidence we have for aliens is monochromatic fuzzy tic-tac in restricted airspace on Earth seen only by the US Navy. That's a little weird to me. Mm. And by the way, it's in our own atmosphere and that's the best image they can produce. That's a little weird to me. So, uh, other, uh, other thing, uh, at any given moment, you surely know, a million people are airborne. A million with a window. Yes. And there's six, at least six billion smartphones in the world each capable of high resolution photos and videos. If we were being invaded by aliens, we have crowd, we have the capacity to crowdsource that phenomenon. Cat videos go viral overnight. If you get any picture of an alien or their spaceship that w with the detail you'd expect from high resolution photography, oh my gosh, the world will know about it overnight overnight, but that's not what's happening here. So all of a sudden we're thinking that the Pentagon has special access to aliens. Really? Really? We have people everywhere on earth, even places where the Pentagon isn't. And no, we don't see. So we have fuzzy images. Fine. Keep, keep looking for them. I don't want to stop people's enthusiasm for this. I don't know what that is. Go figure it out. But, <laughs> but I'm, <laughs> I'm just thinking if we were being invaded by aliens, we would not require congressional hearings to establish that fact. I love it. By the way, one of the testifiers back last summer said he had, uh, he had um, uh, non-human biologics yes. in a locked box in the back. And, you know, I... I take people at their word, you know, what would a non-human biologics be? Well, take the tree of life with everything on it, all the plants, animals, fungus, insects, everything, and remove the branch that are humans. And everything else would be non-human biologics. <laughs> so he could have tree bark in his, in his locked box, for all I know, based on that kind of testimony. 